Now, there's one more property identified in case of the cubic polynomials where the sum and product has been related to the coefficients, but if two of the zeros are multiplied and then added simultaneously with pairs, when I multiply the product in pairs and add, then also there is a relation obtained. So let's see what the relation is connected to the coefficients. pairs of zeros sum of pairs of zeros sum of product of pairs of zeros is what we call that because we multiply the pairs and then add all the pairs which are the products therefore here in this case of three zeros I first multiply this pair this pair and then this pair simultaneously. So first I take the pair 4 and minus 2. So this gives me 4 times minus 2 plus the other two roots which is negative 2 times 1 by 2 and then finally the first and last which gives me 4 times 1 by 2. Then without cancelling let me simplify the overall simplification. 4 times of minus 2 which is minus 8 then this would be minus 2 over 2 plus 4 times of 2. This on simplification with LCM gives me 2 times minus 16 minus 2 plus 4 which on further simplification gives me minus 18 plus 4 <coughs> which is minus 14 over 2. And as I connect this with the coefficients, minus 14 is the coefficient of x and 2 is the coefficient of x cube. So therefore, I get this as minus of, this is directly the coefficient of x by coefficient of x cube is what we obtain for sum of product of pairs of zeros taken <coughs> in pairs and then multiplied and added is what we get. So these are the three different cases which lead to the zeros connected with coefficients for a cubic polynomial. Therefore, if I take the general form, then I can reduce these into converting the given cubic polynomial into the root form or the zeros form as we have done for the quadratic polynomial. Say I take the general cubic polynomial, say, P of x is equal to ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d is the general cubic polynomial. And let me say the zeros of this polynomial say are alpha, beta and gamma. I assume the three zeros of this cubic polynomial to be alpha, beta and gamma. Now as we have seen that sum of zeros is minus quotient of x square by quotient of x cube. Therefore, sum of zeros which is denoted with alpha plus beta plus gamma is nothing but minus coefficient of x square which is coefficient of x square being b and coefficient of x cube which is nothing but coefficient of x cube being a which comes over here in place of this. Similarly, the product of zeros is alpha, beta and gamma which is also given by the formula minus constant term that is minus of constant term in this case is D which comes down. So minus D by the next is coefficient of x cube which comes in the denominator where the coefficient of x cube is A is what I obtain using the two respective formula. Similarly I take the sum of product of pairs of zeros, sum of <coughs> product of pairs zeros is nothing but alpha beta plus beta gamma 
plus alpha gamma is what I get in combination of sum of the products in pairs. Now this is nothing but also reduced to the formula coefficient of x by coefficient of x cube. So coefficient of x <coughs> by coefficient of x cube which is a. So these are the three basic formula I have obtained using the previous derivations. And for a cubic polynomial in general form, I ha directly have these in the case where when I connect them, this can also be reduced into the zeros form as x cubed minus alpha plus beta plus gamma of x squared plus alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma of x plus <coughs> minus alpha beta gamma equals 0 is how we obtain when connected to the zeros. This can be read as x cube minus sum of zeros into x square plus sum of product of pairs of zeros into x minus product of zeros equal to 0, which is nothing but as equivalent as the general polynomial, which we take, or not equal to, but I take this equal to p of p of x, p of x equal to x cubed minus so and so of this, is how we understand connecting the cubic co polynomials and their zeros with the coefficients is what we obtain. So when we know the three zeros of a cubic polynomial, it is about straight away substituting in this equation so that we get the cubic polynomial directly.